Can five Nightmare Rank players all in Sam Clan be 50 pro players in Roblox Bed Wars? This is an insane challenge that the Sam Clan has to go up against. And we only have five players, but these five players are some of the best in the game. And I have so much confidence that because we're all in Sam Clan, we can easily beat these 50 players. We just have to play the game of our life. But we are gonna get a couple things to help us out in our battle. Iron armor, a headhunter, couple pearls, a couple balloons, and this is not a crazy head start considering we're facing 50 players, but it's all we need to catch a W. The game is started and I need to start tactically. I'm gonna go straight to the enchants and get a better enchant. And then, perfect, literally. That is exactly what I needed. I need to go get some emeralds now. Now that I got one enchant, it's time to get more because I literally already am out of emeralds. That is not good for me. But the good thing is when I have a kit like Zephyr, I can do so much damage to players and stop them from killing me. All right, it's time to go to mid and pick off some players because once I get to five kills, I get an insane damage boost to hurt these players. I only have 50 pearls to use before I run out. This guy <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're at four. Once we're at five, we should be able to double jump, and that is something insane that I can do. Let's go. Perfect. Five. All right, people are buying groups already, which I need to watch out for. Woo! Yo, bro, got killed. One, two. Oh, let's go. I know the Sam Clan can clutch up here. We just need to stop these players from even getting cooked. Yeah, they already got our bed. We're up. Uh, yeah, we're five minutes into the game, by the way. That is not a great start for us, but we're going to make it a good finish. I just have to make sure I'm replenishing kills always when I'm fighting these players. Let's go. All right. I, I can't let my Zephyr stacks run out. We need to get out of here and fast. Yo, bro. People are just hopping on me. It's okay, though. They can't do it for long. All right. Nice. Now that we got some more emeralds, we're going to need one enchant. And that is forest. There we go. That is the enchant that we need. Because now that we have forest, we have the ability to go to their base and farm them for all the hp that they give me i hit bro once and it already gave me three health just imagine when i hit 50 players but i think before i try and forest farm players one thing that i do need to prioritize is getting the monarch i can't let the 50 players that we're facing get any boost whether it be in damage or whether it be in hp we need to stay ahead of them because we started with the head start but soon that gap is going to close and fast because they already have a tier 3 generator which is terrible plus it's time to go back to the base I literally have the number one ranked player in the game, and bro is really using no armor. He has that much confidence in his ability, but he, hey, I'm chilling with emerald armor, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have my armor, bro. I'm gonna keep my armor on for a reason, dog. I can't fumble this bag, and I need to be smart, bro. There's no way I could be stupid, especially when I'm facing players this good at the game. I need to play calculated, and I need to play near perfect. Bro, the more players that I kill, the more HP I'm going to get. And I need to start saving my pearls because sooner or later, I'm going to have to use them. Especially when I'm in a situation where I need to run. Alright, we're a man on a mission. That mission is to get to their base and throw a charging gloop. And get all the forest HP that we need. One, two, perfect. That is an insane amount of health that we just gained. Alright. One more gloop and it's gonna travel through the walls and get us an insane. Let's go. Yo, that guy is almost, bro, that guy is almost suffocating me. All right, I need to chill out from getting close to the walls. That was terrible, bro. Soon, I could go for a bed break on their team and pick them off one by one. But for right now, that is not an option because I just got glooped and I need to run out of here fast. Bam. Bro, I gotta watch for my teammates whenever they get low. Mm, okay. <laughs> bro, just, bro just said, you could kill me. It's okay. <laughs> bro, look at this. We are nine minutes into the game and there's already so much wool on the map. Just imagine later on when it gets to end game and the blocks start to decay. Because in less than 10 minutes, all beds are going to start breaking. We need to be smart and we need to be calculated when it comes to breaking their beds. Because none of our players have died yet. Dang, I'm literally almost the kill leader of my team with 25 kills. I'm carrying, bro. Let's go. I just got to keep replenishing my Zephyr stack, and I should be good here. Yeah, just by forest farming, I have a solid 425 HP. 
Yeah, that's that's how broken forest farming is, and it's a skill that Nightmare and Claire will never tell you about because it's that insane. Now that I have some more emeralds, I can buy a Defender. This is gonna be really good when it comes to fighting them because in Lightning Age, Defender is literally like having another player on your team. It does that much damage. Ooh, my goodness, we are 11 minutes into the game and the other team is starting to get more and more stacked. This is, uh, this is not a good case for me. Oh my gosh. Because when players start to get more stacked, it's so much more harder to kill them, especially when you're a kid like Zephyr. It's time we pearl on their base, and it's time we do one more round of forest farming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's time to hop in, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm getting slapped up. I need to take a golden apple. Oh my gosh, bro, I gotta get out of here. Bro, my health is getting low. Oh my gosh, I almost got sent into the void. Hey! <laughs> Bro, there's no way. I just nearly escaped that situation. Oh, I'm glad I can pearl out of here. What is, what is this guy doing? GG's, buddy. GG's. Bro, <laughs> Bro thought he was going to outplay me by hopping down. Yeah, that, that's not gonna work. Huh? These people are forgetting these are five of some of the best players in Roblox Bed Wars. It doesn't matter how good you are, when you're facing a team like this, you need to be on your A game. Because very soon, when all beds are broken, we can start to pick off these players one by one. But for right now, that is not an option. We just need to get more and more stacked. And I need to get more and more enchants. I need to start running back to my base. I literally ran out. Cloud is not the enchant that I need, especially when I'm Zephyr. Wait, wait, and speaking of Zephyr, I'm about to run out of my Zephyr sacks. Please, no! Crap, I'm just like, my loot, my kit is literally useless now. Alright, I need to start getting more and more. I started with one, but let's finish with five. Sam, Sama, I have two balloons. Oh crap, take, take, take. Please spare me some. Yeah, that's the best player in the game. He needs balloons. He's literally leaderboard ranked number one. I have no problem giving that guy all my balloons. Take him. Literally, just take him at that point, bro. Crap, bro. Our team is starting to get less and less ahead of this other team, bro. They almost all have emerald armor now. And I don't even have five Zephyr stacks to my name. I'm literally using no kit right now. This is not good for me. I just gotta start getting more and more kills. I gotta hop in. I gotta hop in. I gotta hop in to get five. Oh my gosh. Yo, bro, bro. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die. I'm literally about to die. I just died. No. Bro, I thought I had enough to hop in. But clearly, I did not. I have to rely on my teammates, bro. But I know these people are the people that I want to rely on. They are four of the best players in the game. But unfortunately, I hopped in and died doing that. But that is not going to be the same for my teammates. Yo, we, Sprick's, OP Strat, and Gat the Donut Maker. Yeah, these players know what they're doing. And I can assure you that they're going to win this game. I may not win, but they will. And that's what matters. It's the Sam fan. It's not me. Come on, bro. Yes, they are hopping and just spamming TNT. Oh my gosh. Look how much damage bro is doing. I trust this guy. And I know he's going to win. He needs to get out and fast, bro. Crap. Bro, he needs to also watch out for the amount of lag. For the sheer amount of lag that happens when you hop into a base like this. You're going to get glooped. You're going to get hit with a headhunter. And on top of that, you're going to get completely spammed by everybody and their grandmother. But the good thing is, all beds are about to break in three minutes. That means we can start picking off players and go from the defensive to the offense. Let's focus on my man, OP Strat. This is literally the leaderboard ranked number one player in Bed Wars. I have a feeling that this guy is going to carry the team. But the craziest thing is, he doesn't even have the most kills on our team. Sprix does. Sprix is pyro such a good kit for 30v30 and i clearly didn't know that because uh, i'm dead however sprix knows that and he is abusing pyro kit but he needs to watch out for players that are camping in the void because he can either fall off and have to use his balloons or get suffocated when you're in a terrible situation like that sprix needs to play smarter because players are going to try their best to knock him into the void sprix come on outplay these players yeah, okay, he's doing a good job at that, but he's getting 2v1 right now. He needs to watch out. He needs to control the distance. He's doing a great job of doing that. Sprix with 53 kills. This guy's carrying the team. But Gat the Donut Maker goes down. We're only left with three players in Sam Clan to survive. I trust in our ability to win, and I know we will. We just have to survive for two more minutes because all beds are breaking in a minute and 30 seconds. They can win this. They just need to play smarter. 
Sprix, Yo, we and OP Strat are just slapping up at mid. They realize that killing the Titan is our last ditch effort to get ahead because right now it is not looking good for us. And we don't get the Titan. This is so bad for Sam Clan, bro. But there is always hope that the Sam Clan can win, bro. Sprix needs to get out, bro. He is getting lower and lower. He's starting to spam build. He's starting to realize that he has no other option but to build himself out of there. He is glooped and he is just spamming. <gasps> oh my gosh, bro. He is getting too close for comfort. But the good thing is all beds are about to break in 20 seconds. Soon we can start to pick off more and more players. Yo, Wheat is going insane with the headhunter. And with that, all beds are breaking in 10 seconds. We just need to survive for 10 more seconds. Nobody on our team can die. Come on, the Sam Clan can come through. The Sam Clan can win because now all beds are broken. This is gonna be scary. But the good thing is all of these players are sticking together. They're some of the best players for a reason. And they understand that teamwork is how you win a game like. And with that, not only beds are breaking, the map is starting to decay as well. Players now have no other option but to go to mid and start the fight. <sighs> Bro, Sprix is almost literally lagged off and he's about to get his first kill of the day. Let's go. Brix kills one. And I have a feeling that's not gonna be the last, but he needs to be smarter because when he plays on the edge, he can get knocked into the void and fast. But yo, we and OP Strat have a good strategy here. They are at mid because when the map starts to literally decay and fall apart, you're gonna wanna go to the middle because everyone sooner and later is gonna have to flock there. So if you can get there first, you can have a huge advantage when you're facing players. OP Strat knows what he's doing, but man, is he getting hit hard? It doesn't matter how good you are. When there's just 50 players, it is like, what the heck? It's hard, laggy, what the hell? Yeah, bro, that's that's what happens when there's 50 players all in one place. But it doesn't matter, he's still gonna catch the W. I believe in him. Sprix literally has 64, 65 kills, and they're starting to knock off players in fast. 15 regular players left versus three Sam Clan pros. It is getting deep at mid, but Sprix is using his pyro kit to his advantage in such a short range. Pyro kit is insane because it gets players lower and lower and allows you to finish them off. Sprix needs to be smart here. Sprix needs to be <gasps> the pearl clutch. Oh my gosh, I was about to say, bro, you gotta get away from the edge because you're gonna get hit into the void. And the dreams of winning this game against 50 regular players for the same plan is over. We need all of our players to stay alive because if one dies, it's terrible for the team. Sprix is on a spree, bro. He is killing more and more players, just slapping them up while Yoweet is 2v1ing. 3v1 and gets another kill. We switch to OP Strat, who is just spam building around. Bro has at least a thousand HP and he knows how to use <laughs> Look at that, 24 fall damage doesn't even hurt, bro. He's taking his armor off. He has that much confidence in his ability because only eight players are left and three Sam Clan pros have survived. We have a chance of winning, but we need to not get cocky. We need to play confident. OP Strat. <gasps> OP Strat has Cloud and sends the players into the void. He is outplaying everybody with no armor. This guy is that pro at this game. How are they finding a way to pull this off? <gasps> OP Strat's dead. OP Strat might lose this, bro. There are players camping under, but OP Strat is almost out of balloons. He is in a literal air fight with somebody on the floor and he is getting out aimed. That player finally dies. Two were leaving, <gasps> but there are two players under the map. But OP Strat has a couple fireballs to change that. He sends one off the map. Let's see if he can send the other. It is now a 3v3 situation. OP Strat, Sprix and Yawit versus Galactic Nebula, Vamp, and Pink. Sprix and Yawit are waiting. They are calculating how they're going to outplay these players that are literally... There is one under the map and his friend is on the other side. And his friend is slowly but surely getting picked off with the, with the Sand Clan players with fireballs and balloons. He finds a way to go to the top, but that just spells death for him. The only way he has a chance of winning is going under the map. Going above just gets you picked off like that. But this last player, who let Ping cook, is finding a way to hold his own against three of the Sand Clan players. It's looking good for us. We might have a chance of winning this because now it shows that five Sand Clan players can beat 50 pros in Roblox Bedboard. Does that not deserve a sub? Feel free to go check this video out if you want to see some more same playing content, and I'll see you later. Peace.